Yo, so we took it to the post today doing some low post one on one with the one dribble limit. Um, neither of us are very big. I'm six foot one sixty, Chandler is six one one eighty. So we're I mean we're little guys, but there's a lot of value to being competent in the post. Um, you can exploit matchups and if you just have good floor positioning, there's time to do it anyways. So regardless of your size, I think having basic confidence in the post is definitely important. Um, some various points to go along with. First of all, um, if you really like the post, you should check out my mix on uh, posting up in games. You'll see that I actually pass out uh, more often than I shoot, like by a thousand percent. Um, and I talk about that. I also have a training video where I work on footwork and such, so you should check that out too. But um, some points on what we're doing here. First of all, we're posting up on um, really close to the block. Um, a lot of scorers in the post will post further up, and this allows you more room to score if you spin baseline. When you're close, the closer you are to the baseline, the less room you have. But the trade-off for that is when you're closer to the baseline, um, the ability for them to blindside you with the double team is much lower. So I think that's a worthy trade-off as a guard. If you're determined to score in the post, I think maybe you should move up farther. But if you really are passing out primarily, um, which is the way I play, um, I think it's good to be closer to the baseline. It creates pretty nice floor spacing. Um, and it's really impossible to blindside you, or very difficult to blindside you with the double team from the baseline. Um, you can see that we're generally posting up with one foot in the key. Um, so some of these are three second violations. So that's definitely true. Uh, usually the ball is already the ball is already going to just be out of the hand uh, from a pass, like two seconds in, anyways. Um, a lot of these you can see that uh, a face up. Um, takes this, the count off, but like for that one, for example, there's a chance that a stingy referee would call that for three seconds. So um, that's a fair point, something to think about, and we're going to practice this um, one step outside as well so we can camp in there for a little bit longer if we want to. Um, some notes on footwork. Um, I'm getting a wider stance than Chandler, you can see. Um, so I mean, that's preference, but I like to get a real wide stance and take a hop before I get the ball, spreading my legs. That get, lets me get really low and really strong. It's hard to push me around when I'm down there, even as a little older guy. Like Chandler has, what, 20... More than... Almost 20... More than 20 pounds on me. Closer to 30 pounds on me. But I'm able to compete with them anyways. Um, so that's, I mean, a testament to weight. Anyways, I try to take that hop before we get the ball, and both of us are doing this where we're it's a game of masking our pivot foot for as long as possible. If you pick up your pivot foot, it's easy for the defense to lean into you at a certain angle, which means um, it's just hard. You can only spin one way, and it's easy to defend. So um, a lot of posts, and this comes from Hakeem Olajuwon, really, is hiding your pivot foot, getting two feet down so you can pivot off of either and then maybe after putting the ball on the floor, you can pivot off of either again, so you can go either way. So that's really how I play in the post. Um, there's other ways to do it. I mean, you can throw drop steps, and you can try to go through defenders and such. But as a little more guy, I'm really just kind of going to try to kind of squirrel my way around there um, and slide around. Um, so, I mean, that's basically it. I think those are the keys. Nice to have um, nice footwork on either side so you can turn either way and you can turn either way pump fake and turn back either way and then pick up the ball and then turn either way again that's really what it's about I think I don't think size is too important um, because even on a bigger guy if they push you a lot you can just use that to spin off of them and hook it un uh, under them you see me in particular I throw a lot of hooks um, scoops really uh, I, don't, I don't mean like an off-arm hook Scoops underneath Chandler's arms. I throw like maybe three of those in here. I used to practice on the post with a 6'9 guy a lot, and I found that um, rather than trying to go over in the post, um, a lot of the times it's effective to go under, just hook under, uh, scoop it or hook it under their arm. So that's another, um, another point. 
Um, points about the three second key, uh, three second count. Um, once you go into one pivot foot, if you face up or take that pivot, for example, then you can get the three second count off you. But I mean, most referees are not the stingiest on it, and uh, in a game, most of the times, the ball's gonna be out of your hand from a pass in like two seconds, anyways. So that's basically it on the uh, on the uh, the post. I'm not gonna narrate through the rest of this, but you're definitely welcome to watch. We played three games to 11. I won the first one. Chandler won the second and the third, which I'm pretty unhappy about. Um, but I was taking a lot of pretty deep fadeaways, and you saw I made a couple that are uh, probably a harder shot than the one. Channel was attempting, so opportunity for me to work on some new things and potentially poor shot selection. Um, if there's a lot of money on the line, I might just stick to my bread and butter, which is that little turnaround. Um, turnaround from either side, really, jumper. Throw that as much as possible, but um, that's the post. Really fun. Whatever your size, get in there. Seriously, dive in. And uh, check out my game mix where I throw infinite passes and rarely even use the moves because that's really what I like. I'm not even sure if the... Oh, they were both in.